What's up, people? This is Skip Goes Hard, y'all. The most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. Today is April 10th, 2018. And on May 5th, 2018, if you got credit on that card, money on that debit card, money in your purse, in your wallet, money in that funky ass sock that you that you wear, money in between your boobies, you got that cheddar, that guap, that cheese, that paper, that stack, those ends, those sweet potatoes. If you got that cash flow, you, my friend, are going to go for these shattered backboard Air Jordan 1's satins. Ooh, they threw the satin on a shattered backboard. Hype beast heaven right here. Do you all remember how people were acting when the satin royals came out? It was like cannonball run on those highways, wasn't it? People using their clout to try to cut in lines. Oh, it was crazy. People were being so extra with it when the Satin Royals came out. But Jordan Brand decided to throw the Satin. They're going to give the Shattered Backboard Ones the Satin Treatment. Hype Beast Heaven. This shoe is a reseller's come up resellers come up retail for 160 add the tax for around 173 maybe 180 something but a reseller you already know they're gonna bump that price up to damn 350 maybe even 400 why because they can why because they have the loyal clientele that will spend extra money on a shoe because they want to get it early and they know that reseller will have that pair to them in about a week and a week and a half. Am I talking down on the reseller? No, I am not. Shout out to the resellers out there because you know why? Resellers are not putting a gun to your head and making you buy the shoe. You are buying the shoe. You are choosing to spend 200 300 damn near 400 dollars way over retail for that shoe facts now let's get back to this shoe satin shattered backboard this shoe reminds me of you know actually it doesn't remind me of but y'all remember at the beginning of vampire in brooklyn when they was watching that old ass episode of family feud and i think the question was like what is something a a, a playboy would have that's that's satin something like that and they was trying to get her to say sheets satin shattered backboards right here oh man hype beast heaven aka the resellers come up it's going down do you know how many people want a shattered backboard how many people want a reverse shattered backboard those two shoes came in men's uh i'm about to say men's colorways men's sizes but surprise these are for the ladies women's satin shattered backboard now why did jordan brand decide to uh, uh keep these in, in women's sizes and not make these a men's sizes satin who knows maybe like i said that is that is something i do not know you have to contact somebody i want you one of y'all hey one of y'all uh call nike up and ask why did these satin shattered backboards didn't, didn't come in men's sizes let me know y'all let me know but look man like i said these are coming in women's sizes the lady in my life meow, meow, meow. stay with me I want you to stay with me. All through the night. Ooh, girl, let me keep you up. I want to keep you up just like that. These are for the ladies right here. Man, female sneakerheads, you already know. Look. I know when these shoes come out from the time these shoes come out to maybe a week, 
two weeks max. I'm going to be, we are going to be scrolling down our Instagram feed and all the female sneaker heads that we follow will have these on feed. Even the dudes will have these on feet. Now, when the uh, when those 12s came out, the Fashetta, I know I'm saying it wrong. And I actually, when I did a video, I actually said it right. Look, when the when the, when those 12s came out, I did the uh, little the little uh, uh, mall vlog, whatever. And some people were leaving comments, be like, "How could dudes wear this a woman's shoe and men who wears women's shoes? They're this and that and all that." Hey, look. That shoe right there could have easily been released in a men's uh, colorway, and it could have been it could have been a um uh I don't know they should they could have gave that twelve a nickname and it released in men's and you know they I think they would have sold out too. The shoe is pretty it, this that shoe that twelve was decent, but you know what men are gonna go for this shoe. I wonder if a guy gets this shoe and wear it will will people still make those comments about hey that's a dude uh that's a women's shoe why are men uh wearing women's shoes you know what I mean I don't know I'm like hey man it is what it is look cause shattered backboards they came in men's sizes and uh yeah this is the same shoe but is this dipped in satin not really not literally dipped in satin y'all know what i'm talking about i know some of y'all be like hey skip this shoe's not really dipped is i know some of you geniuses out there like to correct me on certain things look it's for the ladies may 5th 2018 for the right price of $160 plus tax, $170, some maybe up to $180. Are you going to try to get this shoe? This shoe will sell out. The shoe is already gone. People are going to fight. People are going to camp out for the shoe. And, oh, my God, Lord, please don't let somebody try to cut in line for the shoe. Because, it's oh, my God, they're going to get their ass beat. Somebody's going to catch a raging demon. Hey, I'm Skip Ghost Hard, the most underrated, never do the case. Nigga, you the game. Like this video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Women, if you get the shoe, make sure that ass is clean. Make sure that Krabby Patty is washed. I'm out. Peace.